Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a Town Hall 10 video talking about a attack strategy that is very reliable um, for Town Hall 10 three stars, especially on kind of the older bases. And I say older, it's maybe only, I mean, we're still seeing them a lot. The new type of meta has the air defenses either offset or like towards the outside to screw up the Lava Hounds, but um, these old bases, um, so quote unquote that have the air defenses kind of in the standard locations just in the four sides of the base can actually be taken out relatively easily I don't know if I would say that but they can be taken out um, reasonably with a good attack and it's using this strategy that um, actually utilizes a few Valks in addition to the uh, to the hybrid uh, Laloon part of the attack so we'll take a look at three attacks today um, House of L, uh, Great Clan, I think they are part of the Clash of Clans podcast. Um, that's kind of the home of uh, the Clash of Clans podcast. So um, they were in a war against the Immoral Thieves. It was a good war. You guys, I think, saw some of the attacks in uh, some other videos probably before this one. Um, so they used a lot of the kind of standard type bases. And I think this just shows that how in... Uh, in CWL, we you know we're kind of in a, a bubble almost where uh, everything's moving so fast and bases are changing all the time. But I'd say most Town Hall 10 bases still look like this, and some are you know anti two star bases or even less uh, developed than this. But uh, a lot of bases, um, even in competitive wars, are still going to look like this. And I think when you get the uh, the standard four air defenses. The Inferno is kind of spread out like that. It can be taken advantage of using this strategy. So let's take a look at how these three attackers do it. Talk about the role of the Valks a little bit, the deployment of the Lava Hounds, all that typical um, good stuff. So right here, he starts off with the Baby Dragon and uh, a Queen Walk. Um, this, this is an effective strategy, I think. Basically, it involves... Um, and I think I th at least two of the attacks were like this. It was a queen walk or a queen charge, rather, to go in there, get an air defense, even get the Inferno, the CC troops. Then separately, the king and a few Valks go in to achieve another goal. This allows you to not have to do one uh, coherent push because oftentimes the air defenses are too far apart to get two of them. And if you want to get two of them, which is sometimes necessary for the success of the attack, you have to do two separate entries into the base here. So right here drops down the king, a baby dragon, a few wall breakers and a few valks. Just all he needs to get in there, get the archer tower, the expo, the wizard tower, and the air defense. So four buildings that are all relevant to the air attack um, that would otherwise be targeting his balloons. So some great value there. And also... Um, the timing was perfect because he's taking out buildings or defenses, I guess I should say, that would otherwise be targeting his queen. This way, all that's on her right now is the Inferno, so she can sit back, uh, take out the Inferno pretty easily. I might have to pop the ability right there, um, but no big deal. Gets um, the Inferno plus a few more important buildings. Actually, was about to drop in those wall breakers, and he, I think he does here. Um, or n maybe not quite, trying to let his queen continue moving and even get another air defense. She can't quite, um, she has to go through the wall at least first. So he's going to have to start his air attack, I think, with two air defenses up. But the queen is closing in on the backside of the base anyway. So she can help clean up with the, uh, the Laloon doesn't get. Uh, but good deployment here, two Lava Hounds coming in. Goes heavy on the balloons, but that's what you want to do. Because those are the balloons that need to get in there, get the Inferno Tower taken out. I like the, um, this was tricky, the skeleton on the queen um, paired with the freeze. That was a very good idea. You can see the Tesla's kind of popped and made it hard to take out the queen. But I think some of the pups get on her. And uh, I think she will go down to the pups, if not later to the uh, queen or something like that. But the balloons take out the Tesla farm. The queen has a tiny bit of health left. Um, she's going to fight through. But there's just so much left up. He has his queen, um, the lava hound, some more balloons. Just a bunch of troops, plus all these uh, pups already doing cleanup. So he will uh, go through the rest of this base pretty easily. Uh, has the corners taken out, I think, um, or not. There wasn't anything in there. So the queen continues on, and uh, yeah, eventually the heroes go down. That'll do it uh, for this attack. Nice one to bend. Let's go ahead and move on to another example. Um, what are we looking at? Number, I believe it's 12. This is uh, Snake Eyes. Yeah. Uh, come at this base with a similar attack. You can see has four Valks trained up this time. 
uh, goes ahead and drops a few troops down, I think just for funneling or something over on that side. Pretty quick attack too, about 2 minutes 20 seconds. So definitely went through this base quickly. And this is a very high level base, has the, the walls completely done um, for what it's worth. I think those cannons aren't quite maxed, most of them aren't. Same with the archer towers, but has the um, high level heroes, the maxed out infernos, and uh, the expos, wizard tower, stuff like that. So um, close to max base, I would say. Uh, so it comes in with the king, the queen. This one doesn't use a queen walk, but it still uses the Valks as part of the push. Um, I think he um, decided to just kind of settle for a smaller piece of the base with his kill squad, and he figures it, he can get some more value with just uh, bringing a very heavy Laloon, and I think that was a good plan here, because gets that Inferno, I think he'll get the Tesla as well as a bonus right there uh, once he pops the Queen's ability, and then from there he can just start in with Lava Hounds and the Balloons, you know, just working his way around the base here, pretty easy stuff. Um, the air defenses, they make it so much easier if they're in those positions, which is why if you're a base builder, look at the new meta bases. I'm going to try to make a Town Hall 10 base build because I know people are wanting to see that. Um, so I'll definitely look into doing that. But um, look at other uh, guides and stuff for Town Hall 10 bases, the new ones. You want to have those air defenses um, either offset. And actually, I did make one video on offset air defenses, or just make them push them to the outside of the base so they're touching the walls. I know it makes it they can be taken out um, by like bowlers or the queen or whatever, but it's worth it. Lava hounds can't go deep into your base and just sit there and tank like they can here, because you can see how easily uh, snake eyes rolled through this base. Easy stuff has the queen still up um, surprisingly, and uh, gets the base taken out. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the end here and take a look at one more attack. Okay, um, let's see, I think it's just one down here. Um, yeah, Vicious, I believe. Yeah, um, this one, another, uh, similar to the first attack, another one of these queen walks uh, that's kind of separate. This was very creative. I like how he um, he kind of he kind of breaks the queen into the top right there um, at about 10 o'clock-ish. Nice test wall breaker, and then he drops in a few more right here. They actually start going down to that cannon, but um, just by pure brute force with about having like seven wall breakers, he actually opens that up. So kind of weird how he just let that cannon take out so many of his wall breakers, but whatever. Um, the, the wall is open, that's all that's important. So the queen will step up, and she can actually reach that inferno tower, which is huge. Um, if it was one farther back, that would have made the space a lot harder to attack, but it wasn't for whatever reason. Uh, comes in with the king. The king didn't go inside the base here, which wasn't too favorable, but the Valks do, and they actually get very deep into the base. Surprisingly, that rage, um, where he first drops the jump to let them, you know, get into the base, but that rage really helped them. They got as deep in as this Tesla got it taken out. Um, I think the CC troops are down. Yeah, the CC troops went down some way, somehow. Um, got the defensive queen, the, yeah, the Valks got an air defense as well, so just those Valks with like a jump and a rage, just even only six of them, especially if you pair it with your king, that can get some awesome value, and it's a good thing to supplement like a queen walk, that way you only have a small portion of the base left up. That heal spell was a little bit suspect because the Inferno is, is not frozen or anything, so... Um, most of the balloons in the area are being targeted anyway, but they get healed up um, a little bit after the Inferno goes down, so at least get some value there. Uh, closing in on these last few defenses, this one's pretty much over. The Queen will stay up as soon as she takes out the King, and I think um, those balloons might survive too. So, awesome attack to Vicious. We'll fast forward to the end. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, Town Hall 10s. Um, first of all, base builders. Uh, try to avoid just the standard air defense placement. Makes it kind of easy to three-star uh, some of these bases. So look to uh, to put them offset, like all the air defenses on one side of the base, or just push them to the outside. Um, both of those, I will. I'll try to cover that um, more. Uh, cover that better in a future video for you guys. But until then, that's kind of my advice. And attacking because a lot of bases still use this. Uh, the standard air defense placement, you can really utilize this attack strategy to get some three stars um, for your clan. So hope this video helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisect the Tron out.